Everyone, settle down, please. Welcome to the Lift Arc Studios Comment Press Conference. We received almost 7,000 comments in 2023, and we don't have enough time in the day to address them. So, today, we decided to publicly respond to some of the feedback and hand-selected comments. We'll do this in a calm and orderly fashion, so if you could please raise your hands and we'll pick you. There's a lot to get through, and we do not want this to turn into a total show. No, we do not. Okay, uh, you, sir, over there. This guy is the king of long-winded videos containing nothing. Uh, next question, you there. Is that a front hole or an extra hole or a fun hole? All three. Next question. Would have stayed to watch your content, but your camera is too shaky. Next, you there. How can I purchase the magnetic vice that you use, Tay? Well, you can get it anywhere. It's called a magnetic chuck, technically. Uh, we have some links below in this video for that. Uh, you can write us, but we've actually done a video where I talked about that. My top five tools of 2023 video, link right here. Talked about the magnetic chuck. Typically, and I didn't realize this at the time, but I learned this afterwards. They are usually fitted to surface grinders. It's where they're used the most. Uh, we don't have a surface grinder here. We have Aaron. So we fit it to him. Uh, next, please. I want to build the weld table. I think fab table. Should I use cold rolled steel or hot rolled steel for top? Mm, great take? question. Great question. Um, I would check with your local steel supplier. Look at prices. Kind of go from there. Base your decision off of that. Cold would be a little bit flatter, but it will introduce some issues because it does not have mill scale on it, which will protect it from corrosion. So check. Spend as much money as you'd like. Good, great advice. Uh, ne next, please. Uh, you. Over here. I'm a Christian. Forgive me, Father. Love your well and the redhead dude in the shop. These arrogant assholes just could not keep those Satan-sucking mouths shut and well. Your disrespect for God and subscribers who know and care deeply about saving souls. Look around, read the Bible for one week, take a few facts, and wake up. Uh, can I? I have one. I think you buried the lead. Um, are you saying that... God is a subscriber on our YouTube channel? Uh, yeah. Just to follow up on that. Capital J, D, J, N, D, O, capital K, C, enter. Capital D, comma, D, enter. Capital D, I, D, enter. Capital C, capital M, capital V, enter, enter, enter. Capital B. Thank you for the feedback. Next question. What happened to Wyatt? Did the guys give him cement shoes and a small push off of a pier? I started my own shop, Sound and Steel Creations. I do custom fabrication, fix a lot of instruments and guitar repair. I've got a CNC router, I make signs, all kinds of fun stuff. Find me on Instagram at Sound and Steel. Yay! Oh, go, go, go! You, sir, over there. Uh, yeah. Hey, if you're going to record a video, maybe you should stop people making all the racket in the background. Difficult to understand what you're saying at times. I'll take this. Uh, that's actually a, a really astute point. Um, I really wish we had the capabilities of just uh, shutting down. We do hope you enjoy that very much. Next question, please. Uh, yeah, uh, is it just me or does Spike look like Herbie the Elf from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? I don't see it. Next question. Uh, what anti-spatter spray do you guys like? Uh, Pam? No, come on. We... <sighs> oh, um, I'm sorry. Take this seriously. Well, Weldmark yeah. by Dynaflux is my personal favorite. Followed closely by Weld Aid. If you can't find Weld Mark, there are lots of anti spatter sprays out there. Uh, these are two that have worked really well for us. 
Uh, shout out to Jason over at Fireball Tool, who's done a large comparison video of anti-spatter spray. Go watch that. This here is available at Arc 3 Gases locally, the Weldmark Dynaflux. And uh, I believe Steve picked up some of this Weld Aid Nozzle Clean Number 2 from another welding supply shop. So uh, anti-spatter spray is typically only used for MIG welding, although you could spray it on anything you'd like. It helps, uh, it helps, <laughs> it helps mitigate spatter from the MIG welder sticking to your piece and or the metal table. But it doesn't interfere with the weld at all. So it's a really good product to have on hand. Great. Good question, thank you. Uh, wow. <laughs> Poor suit. <laughs> Don't fit. Wow, I know exactly where you're located. I've driven by the few times. Next question. It sure was nice when you first started your channel and you replied to videos. But like a lot of companies nowadays, if you make a part that lasts forever, then your company will go out of business. Now that you have a lot of subs, I guess you are too busy to reply to comments. That is why I enjoy watching a channel where when I or anyone else posts a comment, it gets answered. Just my opinion for what it's worth. Next question, please. What's up with the nail polish crap man? Be a man. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> oh, right here, right here. A little, okay. little more right here. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whoopsie <laughs> daisy. Oh no. Oh yeah, nice technique, bitch. I'm sorry, my toenails are so small. Excuse me, gentlemen. Do you have daughters? Or who did you loose the nail polish bet to? You know, that, that little nail is small, but it's so cute. Oh. It's so cute. I love this. I love this for you. I love this for me too. Yeah. Could you elaborate on this? Whoever wrote the title to this video must be the Chinese man hiding behind the camera. Vivor is a communist state supported company that passes out tools to YouTubers as a way of propping up their dying export business. The tools they send out as samples are not the same quality as the ones the suckers buy. <laughs> Next question. Piao, 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 piao. Next question, please. Our government is really trashing our dollar. Need a gold standard in the US, not no global BS. Next question. Uh, sir, sir, could I get your response to this? I think your editor definitely deserves a massive raise as he makes uh, the channel. Uh, uh, wait, next question, next, question. Video, I really next, next question, I said next question, you sir, please, next question, next question. Sorry, the stare looks the awful and dangerous. Right. Imagine small children using it, head wound emoji, crutch emoji. Your stairs are not code legal. You need to have a landing outside the door. We'll build a nice set of stairs. And I guess that's a thought story. I have a pal shaking that set of stairs. Of stairs. So you have to sketch those stairs. So you have to do for some of these stairs. So you have to so happy. Really? You didn't put a fucking railing on it? Are you in La La Land? What the fuck is wrong with you? Next. Love how modest you guys are, not even bragging that Mario is making a cameo in this video. I don't look like Mario. I don't even know where this comes from. Next. Wow, that thing is awesome. I want an original Mario sculpture. Smiley face emoji. For the last time, I do not look like Mario. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough. You were all savage animals, and I don't know what we did to hurt you, but I am sorry we suck so much. Uh, last question, uh, you. I love you. Oh man, that's so nice of you to say. You know, after all that, it's really nice to hear. Oh, uh, sir, comment. sir, just to follow up on that last one. Uh, terrible design. Stick to welding. Junk-looking piece to the max. Nothing new here. Okay, that was feedback, uh, but we will not be taking any of this into consideration. We won't. 
We will never do this again. Stay tuned for next year's Lift Arc Studios Comet Press Conference.